Hey guys, welcome back. Day nine of the racing marathon today with Crashy Burnout Paradise. Let's hope it doesn't crash again. Does it? Is it, is it gonna ask me again to to log in? It's fucking go, man. I'm just gonna restart this PC, man. Did they take down the service or something? Is that is that why we can't play anymore? <laughs> My PC garbo seems like it. All right, game, don't crash. We wanna play. Okay, I think it might work in offline mode. What a shit show, Origin. What a shit show. Origin Garbo. Did you guys know that when you don't repair your car, you're actually gonna have permanently less health on this thing? So we're playing the game with the... Uh, what, was the what was the mod called that shows you the speedo? Okay, I can't... I forgot, <laughs> I forgot I can't traffic check anymore. No! <laughs> I'm missing... I'm missing the traffic checks already. The thing is... The Burnout Paradise remaster, as well as the remaster of Hot Pursuit 2010, they basically changed nothing about the game, and that is still better than what they did with GTA. So yeah, in that case, this remaster is better, although they did nothing other than add the DLC. I gotta say though, the interaction with the opponents works really damn good in Burnout Paradise, in my opinion. I will say though, there's a lot less stuff going on on the map in comparison to all the burnouts. Like if you look at both Burnout 3 and Revenge, there's just way more going on on the track itself. Like this feels a bit more like cruising rather than, you know, fighting for your life. I feel like there was a lot more adrenaline involved in the previous burnouts. And this is probably my most hated spot in the entire game. Because when you when you land at the wind farm, there's exactly one event, and that's it. Oh come on, really? Why would you build this here? I gotta say I really enjoyed that I now know how fast this car is going, you know? Knowing okay it does 195 kilometers per hour or whatever. It gives you a better idea like how fast the cars really are, especially when you get later on to the faster ones. The thing is, I think the big map, it worked better in Most Wanted because you had a certain path you had to follow. That's the other thing about the open world. Like, it takes away the interaction. Like, now I'm not racing, right? I'm not racing against the other players. Like, the game feels empty. Very often, you just it's just you and your car and an empty road. Okay, here's the trick. If you use the easy drive, you can restart the last event. And then... You just don't drive, and it will kick you out of the event. That's the best way to get off that mountain somewhat quickly. I hate when that happens. You know, the crash cutscenes, they needed to be more adaptive. You know, when nothing is happening anymore, in my opinion, it should, it should shorten the crash cutscene. As long as shit is happening, sure, you can keep the crash cutscene going, in my opinion. Maybe to a maximum of a certain amount of time. Observatory. Another, another point on the map where there's absolutely nothing. I'm just disappointed in many ways in this game. The soundtrack was really good in this game though. And that alone, that alone increases the mood quite a bit if you ask me. <laughs> what did he just do? He just turned around instead of crashing out. Nice. <laughs> that was a good kill. Chances of another burnout coming out? Very slim. Like, there is no development team right now working at EA that could even make a burnout in the first place. Yeah, bikes was something that I didn't really care for. Especially, you didn't have a proper, like, crash animation with the bikes, so... I wanted to see the riders fly. Absolutely, I wanted to see some proper ragdolling, man. I think I remember why I like Road Rage so much, because it's the first time you actually interact with cars. Like the number one problem in Burn Paradise, it's empty, look at this, there's no traffic. I'm not sure I'm fast enough for this. <laughs> Come on, you stupid car. Don't make me lose now. What the fucking respawn was that? You motherfucking game! Hey guys, Sakura here. Check out Instant Gaming for cheap game keys. Click the link in the description below. Dude, I love how they just perfectly drive to the side so I'm gonna hit the parked car. Seriously? 
And they also they took out the Aftertouch. Like, I'm, I'm generally mad at this game. So I mentioned earlier, I would actually really enjoy the ability to teleport in this game. I think it would it would fix it would fix a lot of the issues that the game has. So I really don't like how the crash mode in this game works. Crash mode was annoying. Yeah, I'm not too surprised. So crash mode there. That's it. Your boost allows you to flip your car further. And yeah, the idea is to just hit as many cars as possible. You know, you do have, like, control over your car, like you have in the... Burnout 3 in Revenge. But the idea, the multiplayer is getting... Uh, like, hitting the buses. Crash cutscenes from takedowns are still good. But your own crash cutscenes too long, in my opinion. What's your, what's your favorite memory of this game, guys? Markman is pretty cool because they are so aggressive and they don't hold back. That's what makes them fun. Just like, just like the cops in Most Wanted, you know. The reason it's so fun is simply because they're not holding back one bit. Oh, like even if you get the kill on them, you don't. You are not gonna get saved by a cutscene. Whoa! <laughs> when you're too long by yourself in a marked man, you know they're all about to attack you. But you're pretty safe on shortcuts. They don't drive there. But true, we still have the entire island too. The entirety of the DLC island. Although, I will say... Oh, the island felt so small in comparison. He just ran me and then his car broke. They remember Burnout Paradise was one of those games I was playing simply because there wasn't anything else that I was enjoying. 2007 was Undercover and then the Shift game. Like, the alternative to Burn of Paradise at the time was playing Shift. Luckily in 2010 I was saved with the release of Blur. Man, I spent so much time on that game. I agree, I really enjoyed the, um, the ability to crash into the finish line. I think it's super satisfying. Most wanted world record. Maybe. Maybe I'll do it in between Racing Marathon and Need for Speed Marathon. There's usually two months there. Oh yeah, the DLC is included in the remaster of Burnout. Nice. <laughs> Those double kills are so satisfying in this game. Ah, so close. So the mod that I'm using is called Brick Remastered. And it allows you to change the boost on any car. Also, you have a portable junkyard, which means you don't have to go to the junkyard to change your car. It was super annoying to drive to the junkyard all the time, I agree. Like, it's so stupid. It just slowed down the gameplay so much. It was really frustrating. <laughs> Yet, the color of the car changed because I changed the boost type. Also, lovable, <laughs> unskippable cutscenes. It's actually a pretty fun car to drive with. Oh, I nearly made it! <laughs> oh, game. Uh oh. <laughs> kind of like throwing my car on the ramp and hope for the best. But oh, that's a good question. What's the first game you ever rage quit on? I actually have no idea. My guess would be Mario Party on the Nintendo 64. The run made you break a controller. <laughs> Driver. Man, I played Driver 2, that game was so stupidly difficult. It's insane. Most wanted rage quit, getting busted by the cops. Yeah, that's definitely something we probably all did at some point. <laughs> nice flat spin. Oh, double. <laughs> nice. No! I think we're all wondering if they ever will uh, make another burnout again. <laughs> Holy shit! Watch out for more split rounds. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> I was so close. Okay, I'm gonna try to find the last event. Wherever it's hiding. Oh, that's it, huh? Okay, two more events and we're gonna be back to the main island. That is, that is some strong wood right there. <sighs> that's what she said. 
Can I say, Burnout Paradise is one of those games that you can just play and kind of, you can turn off your brain. Like, once you know the layout, you know, you're just kind of, you're just chilling, you know? Although the game's fast and everything, you're not really fearing too much for your life, in my opinion. No! <laughs> Parked! <laughs> You'll never find me. <laughs> Off the highway. Um, balls, what are you doing, man? <laughs> sure, keep messing with me, game. Where am I? Oh my god. <laughs> a stupid game. Sense of speed becomes really good, in my opinion, when you have one of those cars that does over 300. How are you so slow? I don't even want to go to my junkyard, I'm gonna... <laughs> so yeah, good night, good night, to come back tomorrow, and bye-bye.